one, please be aware that the following video has some flashing lights and jump scares. Five Nights at Freddy's can be considered scary for younger viewers. Now get to class and have a great day. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria's Jump Scare School, where upcoming animatronics come to learn to jump scare all the children. Hello, I am Funtime Foxy, and I am your teacher for Jump Scare School. Welcome to my class. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Rockstar Freddy, and I'm really into Rockstar stuff. That's why they call me Rockstar Freddy. I'm Rockstar Bunny. I'm just like Rockstar Freddy, except for I'm a bunny. I'm Mr. Hippo. Would you like to hear a story about my good friend, Orville? That is how my good friend Orville found out that the birds were frozen. I am Mary Mary. I don't hate you, but you need to stay out of my way. Hello. Hi, I'm Purple Chica, and my hobbies are eating purple cupcakes. Hello, I'm Pink Patch, and I love playing the banjo. Hi, I'm Happy Frog, and I just come in like pew 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 pew. Ninja skills. Hi, I'm Funtime Chica. I'm great at taking pictures. Do you want to take a picture? It seems like we are missing a student. Hi, I'm Foxy, and I'm usually not late. Sorry. Class time is on the hour. Not a minute before, and not a minute later. We have ten students. But not everyone sitting in this classroom will graduate today. I am looking for the top five jump scarers to join Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. That's so cool, but can I please tell you a good story about my good friend Orville? No, you don't have to do that. I'm going to win. Aw, that's rude. I was just trying to tell a good story about my good friend Orville. I've got to get this. I've got to graduate today. I was already late. Hungry. I wonder if he'll notice if I eat this cupcake. Ninja skills. I will graduate jump scare school today. Yeah. Our first lesson will be learning about the five different types of children. This is only a simulation. No actual children will be on the stage today. Five different types of kids. I didn't know that. Do we have to do the simulation? <laughs> I am not afraid. Not anymore. I'm going to rock this. No one's going to outscare me. Let's learn about the five different types of children. This child is known as the scaredy cat. A child like this is easily scared, easily frightened, easily terrified, and is prone to bedwetting and screaming very shrilly. The scaredy cat is prone to being afraid of his own shadow. The second type of child is the teenager. They are more difficult to scare. They are between the stages of childhood and adulthood, which often leads them to confusing emotions and actions. They tend to feel misunderstood by other adults, and they often feel like they are unconquerable. Good luck scaring the teenager. Yeah, my mom was like totally unfair. She just doesn't understand me. I know, like, isn't this place supposed to be scary? It is so lame. I know. Hey, have you checked out my Instagram lately? The third type of child is known as the excitables. They are hard to scare because they're just so excited and happy about everything around them. It is hard to catch their attention long enough to even imply that they should be scared. They're just here to have a good time. Oh my gosh, I'm at Freddy Fazbear's! I can't believe it! I'm 
just so excited. Hey, you got an eye patch, don't you? Do you have an eyeball under there? You don't. Oh, look at you. You have a little purple hat on. I have a hat, too. Hey, you guys out there in classroom land. I'm so happy to be here. You guys are so funny. The fourth type of child is the average kid. The average kid is curious but cautious about their surroundings. They are driven by fun. They often are overwhelmed with their fear because of their own overactive imaginations. Wow, Freddy Fazbear's. I've always wanted to come here and explore. But, um, did you guys hear something? Hello? Is someone there? Hello? The fifth type of child is known as the disrespectful. The disrespectfuls are the most deserving of jump scares because of their poor behavior. Fortunately, they can often be straightened out with a little bit of fear. Disrespectfuls can often be seen heckling Freddy's on the stage, being disrespectful to their parents, and generally running amok and causing chaos. Please jump scare this child as soon as possible to get him back on the right track. Boo! Boo! This is so bad! My dad and mom brought me to a place where I got to see way better things. This place is just... Just... Junior! Junior! Junior. You should be a little nicer, Junior. Me. We brought you here so you could have fun. Who cares? When I call your name, please approach the stand. You will face off with your fellow classmates to earn a spot on the stage to attempt to scare a child in the jump scare simulator. It's time to take your final bow. Rockstar Freddy and Rockstar Foxy. What is the fastest way to straighten out a disrespectful child? A. Pay them off with money. B. Jump scare them. Or C. Do absolutely nothing. Let them run amok. It's their parents' problem. The answer is C. Do absolutely nothing. That is incorrect. I think it is B. Jump scare them. You are correct. Rockstar Freddy advances to the next level. Rockstar Bonnie and Purple Chica, please approach. What often triggers the average child's fear? Is it A, absolutely nothing, B, their own overactive imaginations, or C, pickles? Wait, 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 I mean, oh man. I think it's B, their own overreactive imaginations. You are correct. Purple Chica, you have been disqualified. Mr. Hippo and Pig Patch, please approach the podium. Who do teenagers feel the most misunderstood by? A. The Freddies. B. Children. C. Their parents. Um, I just wanted to say I don't know the answer, and I'm really nervous, and I don't think I'm ready for this. What do you think the answer is? Um, oh, their parents. See, their parents. I think that's their answer. I know that's the cre correct answer because me and my friend Orville once blah 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 and that is how I knew teenagers feel disrespected most by their parents. Mr. Hippo, you are correct. Pig Patch, get yourself together. You are disqualified. Marionette and Happy Frog, please approach the podium. An excitable child acts most like A. A raging river B. A leaf floating in the wind or C. A wild animal. Uh, it's, it's wild animal. Wild animal. Happy Frog, your ninja skills are not up to par. You have been disqualified for cheating. Your answer is written on your hand. I wrote it on my hand and I was like, rawr, ninja skills. Marionette, you advance to the next level. 
Balloon Boy, and Funtime Chica, please approach the podium. If the scaredy cat was in a dark room and heard a noise, what is he most likely to call out? Is it A, hello, B, let's eat, or C, I'm not scared? Hello. Balloon Boy, you are correct. Fun Time Chica, you have been disqualified. Rockstar Foxy, Purple Chica, Pig Patch, Happy Frog, and Fun Time Chica, please approach the stage. Rockstar Freddy, Rockstar Bonnie, Mr. Hippo, Marionette, and Balloon Boy, please approach the stage one at a time to receive your jump scare. Rawr! God, whatever. Do you want to hear a story about my good friend Orville? <coughs> blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. And that is how my good friend Orville found out the ducks were frozen. What's that? Who's there? Hello? Oh my gosh, I'm back at Freddy Fazbear's again! Oh, look at that! He's still got the eye patch on! Look at you! Are you crying? <laughs> Hello? Hello? You're not exciting at all. <laughs> Congratulations! You have been promoted to the newest animatronics at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Hi everyone! Thanks for watching EP Brothers Play! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos in the links below! We know you'll have fun because everybody plays!